Ugh. Mega... Ro! Oh no, what's you, Mega Man? Thanks to you, I was able to create a prototype cure. Once we have all the pieces to the machine, we can start mass production in medicine. Producing the medicine. I think everything's going to be okay. That's great news! I'll go back out there and get those missing pieces. Before you go, Mega Man, are you sure you're not suffering from any symptoms of Roboenza? No, I'm great. Use the medicine you have on those who really need it. Yeah. Well, if that's what you want, so Mega Man's gonna try to use it on people that really need it. I'm playing as Proto Man though, so my character's just like, Ugh. Um, taking on Sheep Man because I feel like it, and uh, you can't do anything because this is a gameplay, not 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 the actual game. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm f I sound like total cringe. I'm fuck. Fuck. My mic just broke. Uh, so my uh. Sheep Man stage is a really fun stage, really easy. When I first started playing the game, uh, this is the stage I started off with. I mean, you could do that, but I, I have proto coil, so I really don't. So, uh, regarding my YouTube channel, uh, so when I stopped doing, uh, daily uploads and stuff like that, it just, like, I got I burnt myself out, essentially. Uh, you probably forgot about this already, haven't you? But yeah, I'm talking about it, because I, I don't know why I got that, but, uh, I'm trying to put some commentary, because this stage is actually pretty easy. Is there really any point for me doing that? Probably not. But yeah, eventually, uh, my videos... When I first started off, I was really terrible at fucking making videos or doing commentary. Hell, I'm still not good at doing commentary right now. Like, if you really want my opinion. I'm just not that type of person that could just talk on and on all the time, you know? I really don't need help, so we're just gonna leave that there. Uh, yeah, uh, what really got me into the Mega Man series was, <laughs> it was a funny story, actually. I saw Mega Man Legacy Collection on discount, and I just decided, I, I told my friend Alex, I'm like, hey, we, ah, we need to get this game. It, it's like, it was on discount at the time, so, Myself, I'm I like I had like twenty dollars in my fucking PlayStation account, so I'm just like, yeah, I'll buy it. It's on discount. Could be real fun. This thing doesn't stop following me, god dang. There we go. I figured it out. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> but yeah, I bought the game. And then I started playing the fuck out of Mega Man 1. B b little beknown to me that Mega Man 1 is actually the, the hardest in the fucking series for some people. Especially if you're just getting into Mega Man. Mega Man is not an easy game, I'll tell you right now. It is not easy. I recommend... Starting off like in fucking Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 is still hard, but if you play the US version, it has an easy mode and it's very easy. Just trust me on this. Very easy from my point of standard because Mega Man 2 is literally, it, it comes with an easy mode, so you really don't have to worry there. Yeah, but, uh, I, I, I was determined to push through Mega Man 1, and if, uh, if you're an OG fan of this channel, fucking, uh, you saw me fucking doing terrible. I used to, I was so terrible at first, I was using save states and shit like that, and I still kind of do. Not like right now, like, 
when I do like practice runs, I do use this because I like I like I try to learn the boss pattern as as much as I can. So. really just helps me in my situation but yeah I managed to barely complete Mega Man barely completed I mean I fail oh! okay let's not uh, discuss that what just happened I fucked that up already well, there's no way of getting that let's go Oh, come on, man. He just denied me of my... Well, uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna die here, but, uh... Um... But yeah, I live-streamed Mega Man 1. The hardest boss was Yellow Devil. And... Yes. Um... So, after Mega Man 2, which was the funnest one out of all of them, that's still my favorite game out of the classic trilogy, which is Mega Man 1 through 6. Um, I went on to play the other rest of them, and eventually, uh, the first three I'm going to have to replay someday, because, for one, it has crappy audio in it. Crappy audio, uh, and other than I was not good at the game, and I'm already out? Huh. You got me there, sheep man. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, eventually, you play it long enough, you get good. You, you really just get good at the game. It's not that I don't like this game, because... You obviously see me raging in the other three videos saying don't buy this game and yet what am I doing? I'm playing the fuck out of it. That's what's so fun about Mega Man. It's just fucking really... Ch I like challenging games, man. Now, Hotline Miami is also challenging, but that's not Mega Man, so I give that 2 out of 10. Because it's poo-poo. Uh, Mega Man... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but... Mega Man's more challenging than all those other games. Because it just... It's like one of those really hard to explain but uh omelette got me uh, eventually he was when he had his youtube channel up he was doing a playthrough of the of mega man 2 but uh eventually he just he kind of he kind of gave up like he just didn't want to do youtube more and me i, I really love the series mega man 2 made me fall in love with the series a lot and this isn't the only one like there's like more like like Mega Man is a long ass story. This is only the classic series. There's more hell, god damn it! And I'm not ready for it! But I'm gonna leave you to it. Uh, uh, tune in next time when I take on uh, Pup Man. He looks gay.